let's focus on the solution now to that one that I wish that I knew when oh, my please. kids were young. Please. So, um, because first of all, each of us approaches these situations with neural pathways built from our individual past experience. So whatever happened in your home when you were growing up and you say, oh, I don't want to do that, you know, but that's the fear is that you fear that it's immediately going to go there. So if you say, you know, you can't have the cookie, for example, and the kid screams, then in my case, I would have gotten blamed for causing the conflict. And that's what I, I always felt like I had to keep my kids calm because if there was conflict, I was going to get blamed for it. So first, it's being aware of what are the predispositions you're bringing to the situation. And then thinking, how can I create an adult solution to this with my current level of thinking rather than just automatically applying the filter that I built when I was a kid? And we could talk about how those filters built. So in this case, what I, what I needed to do that I didn't know is to feel confident about adult authority is to say, to remind myself, give myself my own rewards of saying, I know that I have a good reason for her to not want the cookie and I'm doing a good thing, not a bad thing, by making a consistent statement that this is not a time that we're having cookies. We can do X, Y, Z, other fun thing, but we're not going to have a cookie and that I'm doing something useful by saying it in a calm way. And just keep reminding myself that I'm doing something useful rather than starting a conflict by, um, by making this statement. 